Assalamu alaikum dears. Let's learn about the analysis of block work. By the way, I'm SLK and from SLK Studs, I'm just gonna lower the detail analysis of concrete block work, right? And this is just the same thing as we do for break work analysis. Alright, let's talk about the analysis process. And the first thing, we'll just find the total gross block work, right? Maybe in cubic meter or in cubic feet. And then we'll just find the model, right? We'll assume the model as 12% of block work. And this can be taken from specification, right? And then by subtracting the model from total gross block work, we can get, of course, the net block work. And of course, we'll find the number of blocks. That's just a simple. We'll just divide the net block work by volume of one block. And for volume of block, there is, of course, no standard, right? I mean, there is no standard size of concrete block. And of course, you can take this from specification. Like uh, in, in our zone, of course, we use 16 by 6 times 8 inches block, right? This is mostly used in our zone. By the way, no problem, you can take this from specification, right? And lastly, we'll just find cement and sand per motor mix. So this was just the analysis process. Now let's do an example as we always do. For example, if we are asked to analyze the given block wall, the motor is taken as 12% and the ratio of motor is 1, 3 and the size of block is 16 times 6 times 8 inches. Let me just draw the wall if I can draw it better. For example, the length of block wall is just 30 feet, its height is just 15 feet and the thickness of wall is just 6 inches which is equal to the thickness of the block. As the data is enough to analyze this wall, so I'll come straight in solution or analysis. And in the solution, the first thing I want to calculate is the total block work. And the total block work may be taken as length times thickness times height, which is of course the length is known, 30 feet, the thickness is known, 6 inches or 0.5 feet, times the height is known, which is 15 feet. Just do some short math, we'll get of course the total block work is 225 CFT or cubic feet. Now we can find the motor volume which is 12%. So the motor equals 12%. And to remove the percent sign, we just divide this guy by 100, right? Now if it's 12 and 100, then how much it should be in total block work which is 225 cubic feet? By doing some maths, we we'll get of course 27 CFT as the total motor, right? When we have the total motor, of course, by subtracting this motor from the total block work, we can get the net block work, right? So the net block work equals the total gross block work, which is 225 cubic feet, minus the motor, which is 27 cubic feet. We can get, of course, 198 cubic feet as the net block work. And once we get this video, of course, we can calculate number of blocks. And remember, a few seconds ago, we have already calculated net block work, which is 198 cubic feet, right? Now, what's the number of block? Of course, the number of block is just the net block work divided by volume of one block. And the net block work is just 198 cubic feet. So, 198 cubic feet divided by volume of one block. The block is just known 6 inches times 16 inches times 8 inches, which is, of course, known over there, right? So the volume of one block will be 16 times 6 inches times 8 inches. By the way, uh, there is uh, two things, right? If you multiply all these three and then convert these into cubic feet, no problem, this is also okay. If you convert these values into feet from inches and multiply, right? You'll get directly the value in cubic feet or in CFT, no problem. So let me just do it, right? So the volume of one block will be just 16 inches, which is of course 1.34 feet times 6 inches, which is 0.5 feet times 8 inches, which is 0.67 feet, right? We'll get of course the volume of one block is 0.4489 cubic feet. Now let's divide 198 by this video 0.4489 cubic feet. We can get, of course, the number of blocks is 441.07 blah 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 blah. So the number of blocks is just 441, right? 
And once it's done, then of course we can calculate cement and sand and mortar, right? And this is just the same thing as we have done uh, in a previous few lectures. I think uh, we have done this in the plaster analysis, right? You can watch that video. I'll put the link in the description, right? So remember, uh, from step two, we have already calculated the mortar volume is 27 cubic feet, right? So this is just the wet volume of mortar, 27 cubic feet. We can convert this into dry volume if we multiply this total wet volume with 1.27. We can get, of course, 34.29 cubic feet as the dry mortar, right? Remember, the ratio is known. 1, 3, so the summation will be just 4, right? Now, to calculate cement from this mortar, we just take the ratio of cement, which is 1, and we divide it by 4, which is summation of ratio, right? And if we multiply this ratio with total dry mortar, which is 34.29 cubic feet, we can get, of course, the cement in palm up volume, which is 8.5725 CFT, right? And if you divide this by 1.25 CFT, which is the volume of one cement bag over here in Pakistan, you can take any video, right? Your country video. I mean, this is just the volume of one cement bag to convert these things into bags, right? So we just divide the total cement by 1.25. This will convert this CFT video into bags, which is 6.858 bags, right? Again, I want to discuss this thing, right? 1.25 CFT. This is just the one cement bag volume over here in Pakistan. You can take your country's video, right? No problem. So this is just cement 6.8, which is nearly, of course, you can take seven bags per this wall, right? Now let's go ahead for the sand analysis. Just look at the ratio of sand. The sand ratio is just three, which means the sand should be taken three times of cement and the cement is known 8.5725 CFT. So we'll multiply these things, right? Like uh, the cement is known, this one, times three, which is the ratio of sand. We'll get, of course, the volume of sand, which is 25.71 CFT. So in this analysis, we have calculated the number of concrete blocks is 441 numbers and the cement is just 6.8 bags and the sand is just 25.71 CFT. And this is it. So in this section, we just learned the analysis of concrete block work. And at the end, if you have any question, let me know in the comment section. Thank you dears for watching. See you next time.